Hello, my loves. <laughs> yeah, we are officially starting the Galactic Vision monthly video readings that are exclusive to the sacred space of the Galactic Vision tribe. So I am so stoked to be doing this. I'm so excited to be, you know, bringing through this new these new teachings and this wisdom that is it, it's just had me just like giddy for weeks now, months now, um, since it's come through me. And now we're officially here. I'm officially talking about it. And I'm doing monthly videos for the, you know, first time ever. I'm kind of going to be going back to how when I first started doing videos. Um, but when I first started doing videos, they were with uh, just the new moon and full moon. But I... I because everything's always so organic with me I like to just um, look at the chart and start talking so this is what I'm gonna do with each one of them but with the monthly videos I'm gonna be having a base greeting uh, for everyone so you'll want to watch and see when I stop so you can fast forward <laughs> if you watch another sign but I wanted to kind of pull everyone together um, and kind of talk about the monthly theme that is really kind of operating in all of our lives and then I'm going to go more specific for each sign and tune into what's going on with everybody. Um, as you see too I also have moon mapping readings in here and those have been so much fun. It's another thing you know one of the things I think when we when we're born with these gifts we can learn them from another person but I believe that for a lot of us it's just about exploring them on our own and they develop as we put energy and love and focus into them. So even with the moon mapping readings, I was, I've never done that kind of thing where I tune in to a particular energy of, of the day and a month in advance. So I was kind of like, I don't even know if these are going to resonate. You know, I was like, I don't know. But every day I would go into a day and I would just be given all these images and I would have these sensations sometimes in my body. And how, now that I've done, you know, two weeks that I've shown you the last two weeks and now that I've done the next two weeks, I see how totally crazy different they are. And I really didn't know that I was able to do this. So I always kind of, you know, encourage people to come out of their comfort zones like that and not think they have to learn it from another person, but to really trust that we're all sovereign beings. We can figure this stuff out on our own. We can do these things on our own. There's a lot of things that we don't really need um, instructionals from somebody else teaching us how to do this. We innately know how to do this. And it's kind of, you know, getting out of our way of judging ourselves, which, you know, I'm always kind of like, I don't know if this means anything. But, you know, I've gotten enough reinforcement from everybody that now I'm like, this means something. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this. So uh, so it was new for me to tap into the daily energies. I had not done that before. And and even with the last two weeks that you guys have been able to to um, to watch or to read, I I didn't resonate with any of those. Like, it, you know, everybody is having really difficult times in the energy right now. And I was like... Um, I don't really feel anything. I feel great. Like I've been having some of the best days of my entire life where I just feel so carefree and I feel like everything is so beautiful and nothing affects me. Things that normally stress me out aren't affecting me at all. And I do have to tell you, I, I'll just plug this in here, even though I don't like to do this too much with my readings, but we have a new product out that I had Rosie create and I called it Lightning Bolt. Because I, I asked her to create something that grounds us firmly whenever we have some shocking situation in our life, like running into unconscious people on the streets and um, or having an argument with our mother or um, seeing something devastating out in the world that, you know, like something like 9-11, like everybody would need night lightning bolt because it just grounds you and it kind of gives you this overall perspective of what's really going on. 
um, so that you can move forward solid and not in a fragile state. So when I finally got it in my hands and tried it, I had an example to base it on and it was amazing how it shifted me within five to ten minutes. So now I've been taking it every day and what I realized it's this incredible mood elevator. Like I am so, like all these things that everybody has been having such a difficult time with, I have not even felt. So because of the lightning bolt. And um, I just wanted to let you all know about that because it's something that you haven't really heard me talk about. I think all of our products are the bomb and are amazing, but this is one I'm really excited about because I feel wonderful and everybody else is freaking out and having such a hard time. And me, I'm just like, hey, you know, it's, you know, it's all good. So it's kind of a profound uh, 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 product and I wanna change it like lightning bolt to liquid bliss <laughs> and they'll be the same. They're both LB, <laughs> but it is, it's so blissful. It's so like, it's just amazing. Like something with the things that she picked for it just is just absolutely, it's saved me, saved me, saved me every day. And I take it every morning <laughs> or if I forget and then something starts stressing me out and I'm like, get to the lightning bolt. And then I take it and I'm like, okay, everything's fine. <laughs> so it's pretty amazing. So, okay, this month, this month is very much about splitting off, breaking apart, separating. And what we have to realize is that anything, you know, 2016 is the reason that Galactic Vision and the guides came through me to start teaching or to start sharing these teachings with you. So you already know I've been saying it for years that after 2012 we had three boot camp years priming us and getting us ready for the things that were to come in 2016 that actually are kind of scary and kind of, I mean, even some of them are already hitting the scene into our awareness, these threats that could happen and they are in the manifesting field. So it's very much that this will be the potential and we will be living this. But my galactic guides came through and said, we can change this. And it's through enough of us vibrating in the galactic vision love, which you'll start to be able to read about in issue one. And when we are vibrating in this, um, in the eight vibration of galactic vision, we are better able to change situations that can occur on our planet. We are better able to change a person to keep them from doing something devastating and destructive. So through our into our through our intentions, we're going to be able to change the world. And it's totally far out, but the more I've been shown all these teachings and the more they're talking to me about this stuff, I know we can do it. So that's why we had the 3 years of boot camp. That's why the Mayan calendar ended and then we have three years to kind of wake up to how we are doing the exact same thing that ended that civilization, which is being too much in the excess um, of everything and too much into superficial things and too much into consumerism, you know, or, or too much into gold and dazzle and, you know. So, um, and, and depleting our resources for the purpose of, uh, Feeling, feeling fulfilled in life um, through these things that aren't really the means to where how we get to that. So we're having the exact same world play out, and we could we could lose it all. You know, we absolutely. You know, there have been psychics who have seen no more after a certain point and we're at that point so there's no time at all to play ego to play i don't believe this to play i don't need to change myself to play i don't need to better myself we we have to right now and we need everybody signing up and going okay i'm ready to learn this stuff i'm ready to take the high road i'm ready to shift my vape vibration up into the galactic vision so that i can start influencing this planet and keep us alive this time. We're having the exact same tests and we can just fizzle away and die and have it, you know, there's, you know, 200 people on earth, you know, or we can really just start making these changes to rebuild this planet and to change our, you know, way of thinking, which has gotten us into the hole we're in. But at the same time, it's not about judging ourselves because we are just doing what we have been shown. You know, we are buying all these things because it's all we've known. Uh, so it's not about putting ourselves down or be, oh, it's not about putting other people down too. They're only doing what they know. So what you're going to see in the galactic vision, it's not about making another person the bad person. 
and if you understand history and this is just what I'm getting because there's so much more to it but one of the things that really changed American culture and history was when um, Nixon was just got into office or something or he was in office for a while but when the when um, yeah Nixon was in office okay so when the people started saying no we don't want to have war. So when the youth for the first time ever rose up and said no and they were like we can come together in numbers and we can change going to Vietnam and murdering people and and thinking that war is the way. So when the when the 60s in the late 60s when that uprising came that is when uh, the forces behind, you know, Nixon and the government, they really kind of stepped in to bring about the me against you mentality. So that's when people who were opposing the war were evil, you know, and it was painted through TV, it was painted through any means to get messages out that people who were disputing the war were terrorists or, you know, whatever. And we had this again played out with 9-11 and now we're having it again played out now. So we're back in that me against you, me against you me against you and it's really gotten us to where we are right now um, that we now have this mentality of always judging another person always putting them down always needing to cram our opinions down their throats and it's not how we do it you know we we can actually change people more through energy <laughs> and through visualization than we can through trying to tell them no my sports team is better than your sports team listen to me you know um, everything that you really see out there now is me against you, me against you, me against you. My race is better, my sex is better, my sports team's better, my town is better, my country is better, and it's all a bunch of bullshit because we're all connected, we're all one, we're all affecting like a big mass thing of water, like every one of us is affecting everybody else. So Galactic Vision is going to open us to that. And with um, with where we are right now, things are breaking apart. So um, relationships are ending, friendships are ending, work relationships are ending, jobs are ending, living in places are ending. So if, if you're feeling like this really strong discomfort right now, it's for a reason. The place you're living is not right. The person you're sleeping to is not right. That friend is not right. That collaboration is not right. And if it is right, it feels great. You know, if it is right, it's like, you know, I was telling my best friend in town here, I was like, I was talking about this weeks ago and I, I'm just recognizing my relationship with people and I love her so much. This is Rosie, actually. I'm the one who created Lightning Bolt and creates all of our, you know, amazing products. Um, and I was like, every time I'm with you, you know, I never feel uncomfortable. I never feel like I can't say anything. I never feel like I'm picking up on something weird. I never feel like I... Um, you know, I never feel like um, um, I can't say something I'm having to hold back, but I really need to say something to her. It's nothing but 100% smooth flow, totally natural. I can be myself. She can be herself. And and I, I was telling her, I was like, we really need to be more honoring of our space and only go for things like this because we sacrifice a lot. We think, well, this has been my friend forever, so I'm going to hang out with her even she, though she's so negative and I am so down when I leave her and I've been in this relationship for 30 years and I should never leave it because I swore we'd be together until death and blah 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 we've talked about this in recent videos and uh, and uh, right now with this splitting apart energy it's making it so that it's like intolerable it's like I can't even stand the sight of you or I can't stand to even smell you or I can't stand to hear your voice like it's like absolute oil and water right now with the people that we are not meant to be in with the towns we are not meant to be in um, you know and even with that there's certain locations where we just shine you know and there's certain places where we just feel like we're dying things are just aren't right and it's really about us taking the risk and opening to where that new place is where that new person is um, where that new job is where that new way to make a living is and it doesn't have to be anything that's stressful and the most important thing because we come from this foundation of judging everybody as oh you're bad there's something wrong with you we have to retrain our brain to say 
we're breaking apart, but it doesn't mean anything bad about me and it doesn't mean anything bad about you. You know, we have to retrain ourselves to stop going back into that old pattern of then being like defending this thing or, you know, laying out the, well, you do this and I can't da and da da da. Like, we don't even need that. Like, just end it. it. It's not working anymore. We have to end this, you know? It doesn't need to be this huge debate of like putting somebody down, shaming someone, making them feel bad. It just needs to be we don't resonate, period. And I'm actually going to be talking about this in the next Galactic Vision, but I'll just jump in with it right here. Um, um, we're not meant to like everybody. You know, we're not meant to love and like everybody. That's not how it needs to be. If we loved and liked everybody, we would not have those best friends that feel so amazing. You know you will never leave their life unless something changes. Um, you know, we need that contrast. So if we just liked and loved everybody, we wouldn't have these amazing friends that we feel such soul connections with. So we just have to understand that it's a barometer. It's something showing us, guiding us as to this person isn't really right for me. This person is right for me. So we're going to talk about that in the next Galactic Vision and some teachings on how to go about that, how to initiate that, how to honor that, and how to just make the decision and go on. Because it's the same way if you, you, you made a bath and it's ice cold water, you put your foot in there and you're like, ah! I forgot to turn on the heat. I am not taking a bath. You don't just then force yourself to get in it and just deal with its ice coldness. You walk away and you go, okay, I can't take a bath right now. Though We have no hot water <laughs> or whatever, you know? So there's going to be all these teachings that kind of show us how to do this in honoring ways. So this month, you can expect that fractures are splitting you off in every direction. You just need to honor it. You just need to go with it. You don't need to put other people down because of it or judge them. And you also need to be open to a re-alignment <laughs> of more suited people into your life. So everything that ends brings about something that's going to begin. So do understand that if something's ending for you, there's something new that is going to arrive. And when you're in the galactic vision, you trust that. You don't judge this as the end of the world, the end all to be all, or I say that wrong, my editor told me, and I can't remember, the be all to end all. But um, you don't always judge something as something being wrong. You're more just like riding in a roller coaster and you know that it's not smart to get off but you, and you don't know what's going to happen, but you know you're going to be safe and you're going to eventually be getting off of that and being like, oh my God, that was so much fun. You know, while you're in it, you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this. I'm freaking out. And, oh. and then you're always like so exhilarated when it was over. So it's really about learning to trust that, learning to trust the galactic vision lifestyle, um, learning to see where you go and being okay with that and not labeling it as good or bad. My team's better than your team. My opinion's better than your opinion. Um, you're so behind the times because you're still, you have no clue about GMOs. We don't need any of that. We don't need to judge anybody for what they're doing. Um, we just kind of have to trust and use our energy to be like, they're going to wake up from that. You know, something's going to shift in the world and they're going to wake up and we're going to be able to combat this issue instead of getting mad and shoving our things down people's throats. So this month is all about breaking apart, but being excited for what is going to then come back to us and magnetize towards us. Okay, so now check out where the minutes are because I'm going to be saying these on everyone. <laughs> and, um, and now we're going to get into the monthly readings for December 2015. Okay, see you soon, as in one second. <laughs> Hi, kind of. Okay, Capricorn, your December video reading is <sighs> Okay, so there's conflict. Um there is um there's conflict because things are happening, things are moving, things feel very busy. Um it kind of feels like 
you know, almost like um, things are just coming at you and you're taking what you can and a lot is still falling to the wayside and you're, you're doing what you can. Um, but there's something where your body's just like, I need a break. You know, there's something with a break. Um, there's something with needing to just recharge your batteries, remap your life, um, reconfigure how you want to move forward on things. And it, it's a backed up energy too. So it's almost like pushing you against the wall. And that's why there's too much. There's just too much, too much, too much, you know, um, uh, it's kind of going on right now. And it's, it can even have you swim me in the head. Like, ah, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to deal with this. I'm just, just, just too much. It's too much. It just feels like way too much. So this is really, um, coming as pressure and it's going to be kind of pulling you away. Um, December's kind of kind of kind of try to suck you into that retreat space. Um, you may even be noticing pains in your body, like uh, lower back, hips. I'm feeling right now um, that is coming from not making enough time for stretching, not na making enough time for yoga, not making enough time for being out in nature. And nature is really shining through here right now too, because there's something with you. You have so much still to do. There's so much busy work still going on. So you aren't really honoring that you need downtime. And it's important that every day you're making space to stretch and or get out in nature. So nature is a great facilitator for you right now. Even with something with seeing how all this stuff has withstood the test of time, you know, because there feels like a hopelessness because it's so heavy and there can be these, um, these risks of just really feeling like it's all futile and like you're just like done and like this is too much I'm just so there's there's a done too so there's ending of things and um and um but it's kind of like you know I see a ton of fun a funnel so all these things are coming down in it but there's definitely as you move through the next two months yeah things may shift in January actually but there's just going to be a more concentrated focus with your um with your folk with your with your offerings in life so it can even be like letting go of that group letting go of that friend letting go of that relationship letting go of that aspect of your job there's this letting go letting go letting go letting go things so that then you know it, and it's all crammed together right now so you're like ah that's the too much thing but it's gonna then as you do make the space as as you do make time every day to like get out in nature and release this and allow the the healing vibrations to rejuvenate you as you keep doing that it's going to narrow down narrow down narrow down so that when we go into the next year there's really going to be this kind of new way uh, a new way that you may even be um, expressing in your career um, that is kind of hidden to you right now like and it's something with your power so this is really great so it's something with your ultimate power but it's 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 almost like obscured like you're not totally aware of it yet and and you've been and you've been trying to do all these other things but there's actually this one thing that you're really good at and you're gonna put more energy into this and just kind of you know make more space for maybe not all work and no play there's something kind of slowing down saying that you're needing more days off that you're needing more rest that you're needing more play that you're needing more alone time um, that you're needing more processing time because it's just been like, you know, what I got in the beginning, it's just been full speed ahead, just grabbing whatever you can. And, and, and it's, it's kind of coming to that burnout point. So it's coming to that. Okay. Something needs to change. Something about my life needs to, this just isn't feeling good. This isn't feeling valuable. So there's going to be a lots of changes from that with this month. And and there's also going to be, it kind of feels like moving into kind of a vulnerable space at the end of the, at the end of this month. And it, it can go either way, it, like more feeling at home in your body and like, this is amazing. Or really just more like, I'm not ready to come out of the shell. I don't want to be around people. I'm so sick of this. There also feels like more of a snappier tone, more of a, because you're at this burnout, there's a short now 
da 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 you know, where maybe you wouldn't have had that several months ago or wouldn't have had that a year ago. And it's really just showing you that, you know, you're coming to the end of, line, of the line on some things. And it doesn't have to be anything that you're scared of because as you're going down in the funnel, what's really important and what's really valuable and what's really needed from you at this point in history is what's going to be pulled from you and it's going to be totally natural so there's not going to be any wondering about it because if you're doing too many things you're wondering about it because you're basically like I want to be this I want to do that I want to be this I want to express like that and because we have billions of people on this earth <laughs> you know we don't need everybody doing 50 things we need you doing one and we need you getting really good at it and we need you mastering one thing you know one area and yours is really going to be kind of like narrowing down to like I really love to do this I never get bored doing this I'm really good at this I'm different with how I do this and then you'll just know to kind of go full speed ahead um, on whatever that is and it's really important now that you're making the time to start getting the signs because spirits also talking through this in huge ways and spirit is saying you know um, what is it that you, you know, or, or spirits just giving you signs, um, but you're getting questions too. I think that's why I said, what is it that you, so it's almost like it's because you're, you are a pretty solid and sovereign sign, you know, Capricorns are awesome. That's my rising sign. And, um, that's how people see me. That's where I'm, I'm Pisces, but I get to have a Capricorn rising sign, which is great. But, um, so you coming up with the answer is important and not being told by somebody else that you're supposed to do da 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 you know so something with you co-creating with spirit making the space to um hear what you're being guided to do is an important part of this puzzle also cutting out the chatter cutting out too much stimulation cutting out too many to-do lists you know and it's kind of like what it makes me think of too is when I took that vacation to Ridgeway Colorado and all these teachings came through for the galactic vision and at that point I just thought I was going to be writing a book on all these teachings and I didn't think anything more of it I was just like I have three books to write and then I got back into town and then like several weeks later was when the the galactic guides as I like to call them just because it's a cute name they came through and were like you have to start teaching this and they totally told me the whole form of how it was going to be taught through what I'm doing right now for you guys and that they're with me and <laughs> They're going to guide me effortlessly through every piece of it, and I just basically get to dictate and share the messages and, you know, type like a maniac. So um, it was that same kind of thing how, like, we don't know what we're going to receive when we go out into nature. We don't know what we're going to receive when we make the space to open up. And being a Capricorn, there's a lot of control there. So you're like, okay, I'm going to do this and this is going to come to me. Okay, come to me, come to me, come to me. So there's something really that's saying just surrender. Don't try to figure it out. Don't try to control it. Um, don't try to even interpret it. Just kind of make the space to be in it and allow it to come to you. So you are being asked to be positive about your uh, future <laughs> so you can be worrying about I don't know if this is gonna work out I don't know if this is the right thing you know there can be an unraveling happening that has you thinking maybe you can't be positive maybe this is the end of something maybe something is gone horribly wrong and you're really just being asked because you're you're moving into some things that feel like you're going into a dark situation that you can't see. I don't mean dark like negative, I mean dark like you don't know. It's it's an unknown future, but it is hinging on how positive you can be for what it is going to be. So it's being in that trust vibe. It's being in that I trust the great spirit. I trust the living universe to be way more in control than what I think I am, this little bitty dot amongst 3 billion people or whatever. So it's kind of surrendering to there being a higher plan and you just kind of need to ride through it and make choices as they come, make decisions as they come and to stay positive about it all, not to get into the fear mode of your future, not to get into the fear mode of the state of the world, not to hold any, because you're not in control right now. You know, you're really just to, 
work on yourself, slow down, and just trust that this is all for a good reason. Trust that this is all going to mean something to you soon. But right now, you're not getting answers. You're not looking, your crystal ball is cloudy. You don't need to know. There's something about you not needing to know that is important with you surrendering surrendering and slowing down enough to receive this other information, this other guidance, this other direction as to what you need to do in your life and to what your role is in keeping this planet alive um, through next year and in keeping us here through next year. Because, you know, some people will have roles that are in impacting just the little town that they live in, you know, in just being this bright light amongst 50 people around them. That's their role, you know, just um, bringing hope to these 50 people that they see on a regular basis. That's their role. You know, I've had some readings where I've gotten these readings where they're here for their kid. Like, that's it, you know, and how do you tell someone that that's what their sole purpose is, but that's what their sole purpose is. Your sole purpose is to raise this kid because this kid is doing big things in 20 years, you know. So sometimes we have these different kind of soul's purposes in life, and we just have to understand that that's okay. We don't all have to be stars. We know I was talking to my friend um, who's my um, who's my um, my graphic designer for all my new projects and she's my old best friend from high school so it's so cool because we were some of the only punk rockers in our in our in our in our area um, because it was when different people were very rare you know so now everyone's different it's not rare and um, but it was different it was really coming outside of the box to be that different and going against the grain and um, <clears throat> and she was talking to me about how good I'm doing and and she's like yeah you're really gonna have to teach me some some things with self-promotion and all this stuff and I was like you know what I don't really I haven't even implemented my advertising or promoting ideas <laughs> I was like it's been going so fast I'm racing to keep up I can't even do things to bring in more business I have ideas too but I can't handle what I have <laughs> so I'm not even implementing these things yet and I said you know what I think it's honestly just it's in my energy and it's who I am and she had replied back she said yeah you always had that you always had that you know ever since you were you know, younger, you had this, you know, crowd drawing in thing. And I said, exactly. And, and like, we have these things, you know, we, so some of us are here to affect these five people right here. Like I've talked about the acorn before we have an acorn and our acorn is all the people that we're here to impact in our, in the world, in our, as through our soul's purpose. Some people are here to impact 50 people right here. Some people are here to impact 50 million people. You know, some people we, we, but we don't know, but we need to be okay with it. And we don't need to be like, Oh, you're impacting 50 million I'm so jealous like who wants that anyway <laughs> really you know so it, we don't need to judge why we're here but especially in this month there's guidance coming as to how big your acorn is and where you're really supposed to be putting your focus and you just need to be cool with it you know and not judge it as anything negative or bad okay that's your December bye